Good evening and welcome to E Curb. Shall we go and give a little bit of 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 a little But there could a lot of hate. I don't know if you can sense it. There's just darkness. Yes, I can see it. They might be wearing bright, but the hearts <laughs> black. Anyway, welcome to E Curve. My name is Laura Mbatha and as usual, you've made it to the end of the week. We we certify Friday, Thursday as the end of the week and we mm -hmm. finalize that by giving you all the tea that your favorite celebrities have been up to and of course my very very talented and wonderful co-host. Hi, good evening guys. Thank you for joining us on E Curve. My name is Zaitun Ali. Definitely, yes. I give you the lineup Absolutely. for the day. Mm -hmm. And on the event side, we have a memorial event um, happening in the CBD coming mm -hmm. through. We also have Radio Maisha planning something good for you. Yeah. And also on the Spill Mighty, aha, uh -huh. aha. Uh -huh. Chebet Rono is in the building, so you better stay tuned. The show is going to be hot motor of fire from top uh, till the end. And remember, we also have the exclusive, ECAV exclusive, running on our YouTube at KTN Home every single uh, Thursday. So stay tuned. But now it's time for the T Buzz. <laughs> yes. So earlier on, We had a lady by the name Masi. She's called Masi Tarus. I'd like to call her Tarus, but uh, anyway, Masi Tarus from, uh, she's a graduate at Kabarak University. And um, she's a result of a botched uplifting uh, program for graduates who are supposed to go abroad for a scholarship to go and learn there. But yes, something happened with the government. Uh, they were promised to go there by December 2022, that is last year. And, uh, but that didn't happen until now. Those guys on Pelekwa Hivi, on Pelekwa Vile. So Nikama, they've been ripped off. And she came out loud and clear, very confident to the leaders of Wasin Gishu. But we have the clip, so stay tuned to see it. I am going to tell you the truth. You are very mean with the truth. You keep lying, you smile at us with a very smooth tongue and very soft face that looks like it is very innocent, but you keep on lying and lying. <laughs> Now, some people will say that this is the bedroom of His Excellency, Mr. Ruto. But you have, <laughs> in fact, I don't even have words to summarize what you have done to us. The, the, The short form of it is you have gone into his bedroom, you have disorganized everything, you have sat on the bed and said, you know what, now we are here. Probably Janet, ja in fact Janet, Janet, ukona shamba, ukona nyumba, ata saiwa kikufuata wata kufanya nini? Exactly. No, you will do that to Janet and probably Goons will come. She got first class in her education. <laughs> She got first class in her education. Yeah, so Laura, this is really painful. It is. Just to listen to it and also to watch it. They are really hurt because most of the parents even uh, sold their lands, sold the kettle, sold everything just to come. So for this Mercy, actually, what she gave was 600,000 for tuition fees, 300,000 for accommodation, and 85,000 for visa. So that is 985. I don't know if those numbers look small to you at home, but they're not. Especially yeah. now that, I mean, even just not now, but during these times that everyone is just trying to have a come up. And when yeah. people are actually putting in the work, mm. education is not easy. Imagine. Not everyone has access to it. So when people see it through for four years and want to make their lives better, 
to rob them in broad daylight because that is robbery. Exactly. I would, that's the only way I can term it. I feel like it was a very powerful and moving statement, not just from her, because we heard other statements from some of the other people who are in the room. Yeah. And I think just using her as maybe as a champion for this movement is the right way because she's young and she can run this race longer. And maybe before yeah. we move to the next story, um, uh, Ali Noor was mm. heard saying that she should this. apologize. Do this. Because she's Let's. disrespected no. the elders and uh, that's not really good. No, and it's not right. Let people l let out their issues. Even I the know. elders who were there were in support. They were crying. No one wants to yeah. say an adultery. Uh, and she had, she had the guts that many of us have never had. Exactly. We are the ones who no, elect these let's, people. Let's not and we need justice. People. When our politicians are busy, busy insulting uh, mm. other people online, yeah. calling them all manner of names, no one is telling them to shut up. But when a lady is actually eloquently expressing herself and to the best of our abilities and correctly so mm -hmm. I don't see why we should tell her to keep quiet yeah. someone else we shouldn't be telling to keep quiet is Madame Bose me first of all I told you on this <laughs> show I do not beef with Akode oh at all I yeah. can beef with anyone else just not her but <laughs> why yes why is so uh, girls for uh, the I think the committee from Nia said that they do not want Akode to come as a public speaker because mm -hmm. she's not a role model. She said this time and time again, mm -hmm. she is not a role model. Do I believe she's a role model? Absolutely not. But life is complicated, life is hard, and she's managed to make something out of it. Yeah. Can she offer something, some sort of wisdom to people? Absolutely. You can hate her antics, but she can have something of value to add into people's lives. She has said several things that... I personally resonate with. She's done several things that I do not even, you know, that do not even speak to me in any manner of way. Even, f I don't know, you can judge her however you want, but I do believe she can impart some level of knowledge. Mm. She's managed to change yeah. her life, the life of her children, and to just categorize her as damaged goods forever. I personally feel that's an attack. For me, let me tell you, Akode, these people just know what amount of money you have and uh, they are calling you for the fundraisings because mm. they know you have cash. They need you because of the cash. I'd say that because you cannot um, accuse her just for being, okay, not being a role model because she did a couple of wrong mistakes or uh, made a couple of wrong decisions before in her life. But Ali Jiridim, mm. even she's saying even her kids, she has three degrees lying there with the kids, you know? Yeah. She's not stupid just to come to talk to a group of uh, young 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 girls mm. and tell them to go and find maybe 10 baby daddies or not. she knows better right now yeah. and she's lived the reality just to see how best you can improve even yeah. if you've done a couple of mistakes it's yeah? like life is so complicated and you can turn your life around exactly and it's the same argument i have with amber not because i'm a big supporter of amber or like subscribe to what she does mm -hmm. it's society wants to punish women society wants to punish women because they've made this set of rules mm -hmm. and when you when you do when they when you go against them you know like they've decided amber you've already had a child with this person you've dated in the limelight so exactly. you you're damaged you can't do any better but the now she's happy. Do better they just also want to just deny you your accolades deny you your flowers and that as a society is wrong allow, move on allow people to i grow. know allow people to win <laughs> your turn is coming exactly it is going to come. relax also, the message on WhatsApp was shared. Yes. Which was very, just so vague. The SEK bishop. Yes. Yeah. And well, if to church. I will imagine. Ah, uh, ah. -uh. SDA well, but now this SEK Bishop, Walisema, now she's not um, the role model. So this is the manager writing uh, a WhatsApp message to Akode. Admittedly, them, every society them. is also allowed to have their set of rules. Mm -hmm. They're also allowed to have their opinions on the people who can come. But I just feel like the input from social media is not necessary. But was it the other day that a bishop eloped with a girl from school? After this weekend challenge. Kula Imagine. <laughs> and, then now you <laughs> and then you dare to tell her that she's not a role model. Anyway, yes, yes. we so move. Yeah. <laughs> we mm -hmm. move regardless. All and right. on to the next story. Um, KRG the Dawn. Ali Kujra Kaseva Konya Mtandao. That uh, he was asked a random question by one of um, the journalists online. Uh, that if your man is earning 100k. What should the woman be earning? Mm. Listen to what he said. Boga, best in the world. <laughs> so, bro, the, yeah. the, the question of the day is very simple. Mm -hmm. If you're making 100K, how much should your woman be making? How can a man make 100K? 100K? You are joking, how much you are so, so, they're saying 100K is very less in a month. 100K even can't be enough for a week, bro. 
sasa una, kama unajua unatengeneza pesa kidogo kama hata utafai kudila mambo ya mapenzi unafaa uache kabisa yani uogope wanawake na ujifiche eh? <laughs> this is not a laughing matter but honestly <laughs> no it's how he said it with rudeness and he's like you know and most of the cash that he has but we know the economy definitely 100k is not as much but people are out here struggling going to work monday to friday just to get even less than that and mm. they have like two kids even a yeah. big family and they are happy mm. are you happy with your woman do you have her in the house do you yes. even have a family that is happy because you mm. have more than 100k questions to answer Absolutely. Mm. I'm not taking part in this conversation because I agree with him. Me, listen. Stay away ah! from me. <laughs> I have needs that people take care of. It doesn't come cheap. Listen, let's move on. And uh, we're talking <laughs> about Tory Lanez and Megan <laughs> The Stallion. When um, last year, throughout last year and even coming into this year, there was the issue where sh uh, Tory Lanez allegedly shot Megan The Stallion and they went to court and it was proven true. And now he's going to serve 10 years in jail. It was supposed to be longer and they petitioned for, they requested for a shorter time or, or request, I don't know how, what the what the term for court is when you want a shorter time. What to me to request? Petition. Oh. Yes. <laughs> they petitioned for a shorter time, but it was, uh, I thought they denied it, but 10 years is actually shorter than the time he was supposed to spend. I think it was around 28 years. So it's a win for him and a win for Megan as well because he gets to spend less time than he was initially supposed to spend, mm -hmm. which was calculated, I think, just based off previous cases. And I think it's justice for Megan. And now she can go back yeah. to making music. <coughs> so the story had a couple of rumors here and there that, um, of course, he denied. Mm. Lanes. You told me it's a Tony. Tory. Tory Lanes. Yes. Not Lanes. I was here calling him Lanes, by the way. Shamelessly. Did you say Madagan Kikuyu? Ah! Ha Kikuskia. Ata Shanga. Kwani ni meo. Nani? Say Madagan Tory Lanes. Yo kweli. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Facts. It's, an, it's, not, no, it's not a really known fact. But yeah. yeah. She's Kikuyu. Oh, thanks for the highlight. But the thing is, uh, he denied the yeah. accusations, saying, um, uh, how could you, how could she say that she was short mm. through the glass, it's, it's the, through the, um, the car window. Mm. And also she was shot on the leg. So first and foremost, let me start by how Megan, this stallion, was saying. She told the police, when the police came, the LAPD, mm -hmm. she was so anxious and she was so afraid that she even lied mm -hmm. and said she was cut by some glasses after the party. And all people say that um, this was, uh, the fight was because of, um, was it Jenna? Mm -hmm. Was it Kylie Jenner? Allegedly. Allegedly, yes. So they were saying that. So it had uh, so many rumors uh, from 2020. Was it 2020? Back in 2020 until now. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the ups and downs these guys yes, have gone rich through. People just to do rich people things. Yeah. And then the rest of us come in and are involved. But I'm happy that justice has been served. Yes. For people of Langata, soon enough. Okay, you guys have been complaining for the longest time. Nothing has changed. But we hope something changes. Uh, the MP of Langata has said that if you are a noisy bar, <laughs> you will be dealt with. Parents want to sleep. Just parents. I don't know if there are children in this no, room. No, he even but said, said children. Yes. I don't know. He, he, I'm not saying he, cam he came up because of events, but he's been part of the entertainment scene. Yeah. He knows the, the bars sort of run the economy. Kenya's yeah. a partying nation. Am I saying, is it right that bars make noise for kids and homes? Yeah. Is it setting a good precedent? Like the first thing we talk about, it's just a, a line full of bars, you know. Do I think it's right? Mm -hmm. No. But to just tell people, I have to know. But Sakaja tried this way before yeah, i think immediately after he was elected mm. and it failed it flopped mm. so anasema when we try and close those bars manasema mnajua sakaja so we are coming on friday so i don't know guys for la pale pit stop now see funny thing is <laughs> Jalango. <laughs> no it's they're actually across the road and okay anga levi suji kuna pit stop okay anga levi mingine ingine suji 18 Una get so ziko kaza but yes who kuni wapi eh ni wapi na yeye mwenyewe pia alikuwa anazienda so sijua atakaye kufunga pata neno huyo manager wa alikuwa anajuana and i don't know how this will happen but mjue friday langata is a no go zone yeah. eh so mwende cbd i don't know CBD. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're taking yes. a short break. Kawa ni msewa CBD toka saa hii because you never know. We'll be right back after the break keep it ecav.
Yes, welcome back. And this is ECAV. If you're just joining us, my name is Aitun Ali, and this is the ECAV event segment. So we have a couple of lineup, and I'll start by the August 7th Memorial. This is the, the event happening. It has been happening since uh, from Monday until Sunday, and we are just commemora commemorating the seventh memorial pale kwenye what's it called it's it's at cbd the park is at cbd and uh at the junction of moi and haile selassie avenues yeah. so we are doing all our shows there if you remember guys um, in 1998 there was a bomb blast there and it was it happened at the 7th of august so all the other previous years we've just been uh memor commemorating this thing only on one day but for this time we've made it seven days in the week and most of our shows are right here at KTN home will be live there we will have Friday turn up we will have also Habariza News 2.0 live and also Sunday Best and Sunday Best Reloaded guys show up show up show up show up show up and let's see what they have for us let's see So we'll have a couple of artists, uh, especially on Tuesday, we had Maga and the Tune Dem Band. This is a gospel reggae band that were performing. On Friday, we're going to have a Costa and La Freak. Oh, an amazing band as well. Uh, Wednesday, um, that was yesterday, yesterday. we had Waiwe and Sanaipei. On Saturday, Kutakwana Ziki and Charisma coming through. Thursday, Leo. From 4.30 to 7, that actually Shaisha. So Yaba and Honsphere were performing. And lastly, on Sunday, Indio Climax, mm. we'll have Mabiza. That is a tribute to Chibalonza, the late Chibalonza. And also Pastor Solo um, and his choir of worshipping session. So it's a oh, whole no, audience. I haven't heard the name Chibalonza in a long time. Yes. Aki, really? I was so confused. <laughs> but in case you missed this, make sure the 26th is empty. Because uh, Chama Nangoma just did the uh, soft launch. This week, just to remind people uh, yeah. that on the 26th, there will be in Nakuru, so you can plan for a road trip. That guy been eyeing Mulize Kamana on 100k. I'll buy Gary. Mwende uko downtown. <laughs> Nakuru. And enjoy Choma Nangoma, which will be happening out of town this time. Yes. Wow. You guys don't want to miss it. Um, check this out and don't miss out, but I'll be telling you why you shouldn't miss out and why you shouldn't. And you know what? Choma Nangoma 4th edition is on. It may launch Leo here at the Standard Group and most definitely it's going down on the 26th of August. Pale Nakuru, my friend, Vector Utokleze. On the 26th of August, Pale Rift Valley Sports Club. Mm, all the baddest artists, Watakwepo, in the house. So make sure I see you there. You know what? This is how we party. Choma Nangoma 4th edition going down in Nakuru. That is good vibes. Definitely good and vibes. You know, like every department was told to send someone, <laughs> and you star was just there. And I know. Lima. <laughs> and then she went with her best friend. And imagine, Lima. but yes, that is guy good vibes happening yeah. at the Choma Nangoma. Hate Big up to Mwende Masharia. I can see Tom Japani there. All the crew for my uh, Radio Maisha. Can you say Maisha Magic? What? <laughs> but Radio Maisha will be there. So stay tuned. Twende. Twende Listen, to party. On the 26th, head on down to Nakuru. By the way, if you want a proper road trip, that is yes. going to be fantastic. And the lineup is sick. Saru, Calligraph Jones, furthermore, the list is endless and the entertainment is fantastic. You can also meet some of the fantastic faces and voices you hear on radio and TV. Yeah. So make sure you 
you head on down. Chomarongoma is back, it's bigger, and it's definitely Tickets. better. Tickets. Tickets sell for 800 shillings. At Ticket Sasa. Ticket Sasa. Yes, make yeah. sure. But the artist lineup is lit, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. and the event is usually the talk of the town. Oh, as wow. In. It's one of those events you don't want to miss. But can you guess where this year's Chomarangoma will take place? The answer is on the poster, but I'll even give you choices because why not? We want everyone to come. Mm -hmm. A, my house. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Your house. <laughs> B, you number one and number two. You go see choices. <laughs> choices A and B is Nairobi or Nakuru. For a chance to win a pair of, uh, a pair of tickets, text your response. A or B. A is Nairobi. B is Nakuru. To 24335. That is 24335. Where is this year's being held? Is it in A, Nairobi, B, Nakuru? Yes, and you have it. Let me also plug you in on what's upcoming. That is the Club Kiboko Festival on the 19th of August at Uhur ah, sorry, Ulinzi. Ulinzi is a place to be. So bring your kiddos to come and have fun. It's going to be a good time with Zawadi and also fun games. That is uh, Bouncing Castle, Nini. Lots of prizes to be won. So show up, show up, show up. Also, and this one, um, kids is 300 bob and adults is 500 bob so yeah. play areas games family entertainment and lots of giveaways so yeah. stay tuned yeah. uh kids is 500 and adults is 300 sorry yeah. sorry for that yeah. yeah and if you're one of those then let me give you something to watch this weekend just before you marinate your babe and take her to nakuru yeah. or your babe listen i'm here for the independent women with their own money and cars listen plug me to those wababas. I know it's not your own money, but it's okay. Uh, we are movie, reviewing the movie Super Team 4 yes. today. So check out the trailer and then we'll dissect it. Super Team 4, I think it's a fantastic family movie. Everyone should watch it. So, uh, so my bad. I'm African. very wrong. Yeah? Proudly African. Yeah, and if she's the <laughs> one you want to carry your children, you can also watch with her. But right now, it's all about our guest of the night. She needs no introduction, but we'll introduce her anyway, because these guys are not just need us. Chabat Rado is in the Woo! building. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Yeah, and Lit Calves is on e -Calves. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Laura. That was really nice. Thank you wow. so much. I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. You you make me bust out in laughter. <laughs> in my house where Chowanangoma is happening, mm. there, I have a blast. Can I come to your house? You can. You can. You can. You can. You can. You can. So, Rono. Talk to me. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. Mm -hmm. You can call her. her. She's the one. Auntie yeah. Debs. Auntie yeah. De you know what I'm saying. Auntie Debs. If Auntie you know, you know. Debs. Ah. <laughs> 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 I love it. Yes. Uh, thanks so much for coming through. And you came on time. Actually, yeah. earlier than we expected. Just yeah. let the guys know at home that I keep time. She does. So whatever you're booking her for, guarantee, <laughs> she'll be there. there. No disappointment. So Deal. before we get into our interview, we want to do a quick fire segment with you. This Yay! is a new segment on ECAV. We're all about fun and good vibes. Clearly. Thanks. We're waiting <laughs> for that. All right. So let's get into it. Describe yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. How funny would you say you are? Eight, hey. nine, five things you cannot live without. E uh, earphones, gla oh, food, mm -hmm. mm, and shades. Yeah, yeah. Five. Well, I, I thought Those oxygen, but oh, five. Uh -huh. yeah. mm, 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 mm. Skincare. Ooh. Oh, nice. The ladies that get it, they get it. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. What am I gonna say? Sneakers. I like sneakers a lot. Oh, nice. oh yeah, the comfortable type. Interesting. Mm -hmm. A song that best sums you up. Take me to the king. <laughs> oh, so you can sing. <laughs> oh yeah, honey. You can ah! sing. A song that best describes me. Yeah. Wow. Um, your mama, the Saudi soul one. Ah, yeah. Yeah. nice. If you could live anywhere, where would it be in my head? <sighs> Rent free. Yeah. With Nyash, but you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would Sweden. still going. You're still pushing. Strong. Ah, strong. I love it. Sweden. Sweden looks very peaceful. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Never yeah. thought of that country by the Sweden. way. Mm. What's good? Sweden. Sweden. Right? Mm. But like, it's very peaceful. It's like one of the peaceful countries. Have you been sure. there before? I just hear about it. And uh. I've seen like a lot of pictures. So. Okay. Yeah, okay. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mm, pasta, chicken, pasta, chicken, pasta, chicken, pasta. Oh, so it's, uh, it slaps. It I actually get that with a little bit of cheese, you know, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I love it. Crazy thing. Got some in the box somewhere. I don't know. Craziest thing you've done in the name of love. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It depends because mm -hmm. I feel like they're spending. A lot of females would say spending. Of course. But I feel like a lot of people have done that. So if there's something crazy I've done. Oh, maybe oh, I, I jumped over their family home, the, the gate. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've been there. Imagine. You, you were locked mm -hmm. in a closet. No, me. We've mm. been there. <laughs> Last thing you Googled on your phone. Um, Ikav. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. We'll never I'm know. Confused. All right. Worst habits. Worst habits. Worst habits. My phone. Oh, oh. I think so. Always. We do better. All the time, all the time. Yeah. I want to be more present. Yeah, I love that. That's Lastly, what should we watch out for? She's coming. Ooh. Well, well. That's all. That's so a good answer. Right now. Mm. And guys, goosebumps. Stay tuned. That was just the tip of the iceberg, but we are coming back with more of her story. So, Msi and Popote. Oh my god, my director hates how this plane sounds. <laughs> but they tell us on 0754594348. That is our WhatsApp number. Tell us what you think about the show. If you just joined, this is ECAV every Thursday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. My name is Dayton Ali. And remember, I was plugging you in on the seven days, 7th August, 25th anniversary of the Memorial Park. So uh, we'll be live. Uh, from Monday, we, we from Friday to Sunday actually, it has been going on since uh, Monday 7th to now Sunday 13th, where the climax is happening. The entry is totally free. Unajua pale, kwanza watu waronga, opposite tu wali mnapandianga mat, apo ndio memorial park eco. So just go see what um, it has to offer. Very amazing grounds. Ata uneza fanya bash, apo badai. But for this purpose, for the seven days, it's about now the, memor the memorial yeah. anniversary the 25th. Come to Karongo, yes. baby, so memories. Do not talk about you. Anyway, <laughs> I just felt like I, I should mention this. I just, I, uh, our producer may post picture to all of us. Our hosts are about to fly. I feel like to menok your air, airplane, nani wow. hear me longer than that. Just that was the measure. purpose. I can hear your montage. Diposa, diposa, papa. Anyway, let's get back into the interview. <laughs> Chebet Bruno is with us. Oh, gee, you all know her, you all love her, or love to hate her. Whichever, whichever side you're on, you know her, regardless. Yeah. You've got to know. Yeah. Either way, either love way, me way you know. Me, you're on e I don't know about it. <laughs> Rono, man, thank you so much. This is not your first time at KTN, but it's yeah. your first time interacting with us. So yeah. uh, no need for to dive into an introduction. I think everyone subscribes to your content or at least knows what you do. But anti anti death. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go into that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that? I think it was because of the Mumamas thing. You know how these um young guys started hanging out. Mm. <laughs> started being sponsored. Mm -hmm. I know you at home. You have a sponsor. It's fine. Me, it's okay. But uh, yeah, I just started imitating them because mm -hmm. uh, I think I knew one and she was quite fun. She was amazing, actually. Oh. They're always so kind because they have really? money. You My know, favorite one is in the Uber. Akisa Hungari. I was being going to a garage or something. <laughs> so she's in the Uber. My but German machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I, I'm a big fan of your content. Thanks, man. And uh, there's a lot has happened. You've changed a bit. You've, your trajectory in terms of your career. Yeah. You started off in which university was it? I, I didn't go to uni until like 20, just last year. Because you, you did the after school program, like after high school. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. then you sort of like were telling us you're going to college to do something different. Yeah. But you kept pushing content, then you were on radio, mm -hmm. and you did all these promo gigs. Mm -hmm. Then 
you stopped for a while and did like a, I would call it a 180 transition with your life. Okay. Tell us a bit more about that. The, I'll call it fame at a young age. Mm -hmm. To receive that level of attention. Mm -hmm. It must be very confusing okay. and nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Azad in the morning and she told me she was forced to grow up in the limelight. Okay. You were forced to address mm -hmm. issues that you are not necessarily mentally prepared for yeah. because you you guys received age at such a young age and so much attention. Mm -hmm. How was that feeling for you just to receive all of that, all that love and hate, all that mixture of emotions? What was that feeling for you? I think just as you said, um, having that attention at such a young age and you know when you're young, mm -hmm. you don't even know what you want to do or if mm. you do, you kind of change your mind a lot. And so I think a lot of people um, around me had opinions on mostly what I'm doing, what I'm saying. And so it confused me a lot and I would change my mind a lot. Yeah. But I think right now I'm a bit more grounded. I'm yeah. a bit more forward with the things I want to do, the things I want to say, the places I want to be. So it's easier now and I'll at least me anza ku read it to the self. I love it. <laughs> I love self. this new I love her. Actually, <laughs> there was a fun fact we posted on our Instagram today and uh, one of it, five fun facts for uh, knowing you better. One was it was saying that you received your first millions at the age of what? Please 19. tell us. Oh wow, 19. 19. Tell us about that. How was it for you? That was crazy. Actually, um, I started earning money uh, all at once, like at such a young age. And I was among the first, first people. I think that time there wasn't really a lot of young people um, in the com um, even comedy, in like content creation. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was crazy because I didn't know what to do with it and then I didn't have like um, the right people around me, yeah. I'd say that. Yeah. But it was really amazing. I would lie, at the end of the day, <laughs> At what point in life were you at uh, that time, especially? When I finished high school and then really? I started, yeah, and then I joined like a course in uh, Brookhouse. That was the time it really hit. Um, uh -huh. A lot of people, like at, at times the negotiation, I was like, I thought we were going for like way less <laughs> and they would throw numbers and I was so, I was so amazed by this and so yeah i think it was a good feeling most of the people i know would like to know how do you make money especially in content creation mm. okay did it come like in bulk ama was it like kidogo uh, kidogo 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 and then to that one million ama oh when Explain. i when i earned when i earned uh, that one million i think it was from two companies ah. that was not something that I had done on my own okay but if about YouTube I feel like it accumulates um, how can I say this it accumulates with the consistency yeah so yeah so it YouTube didn't really like give me like that I think it was the brands oh. most mm. likely yeah the brands yeah. yeah and that time I was at energy so oh energy yeah. you're also one of the youngest window. guys yeah. to be on, on radio, radio. Yeah. Yes. Oh, she was the youngest yeah. Yeah. she was the youngest yeah. and I remember guys were so vexed at like, what oh, age was that guys were like she's not even going to you nini at what age was that uh 19. kwa ni ya uh, for, to focus up. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Sawa, so pole, pole. Different brand. Okay, <laughs> okay. different brand. Sorry. Mm. So, <laughs> uh, everyone, um, just in line with that, you've managed to transform yourself before our eyes. Okay. I'm sure that was painful and stressful. Not necessarily painful, but I'm sure it was just a lot. Mm -hmm. But we see you outside doing all your activities, <laughs> being your own coach. <laughs> I love it. I need Rono as are, my coach. You guys are calling me David Goggins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> David Goggins, yeah. Yeah. If you guys don't know who David Goggins is, you should go and check out YouTube. You will. It, it's very inspiring but scary <laughs> at the same time. What that man can do. When is enough enough? <laughs> exactly. What he can do is inhum inhuman <laughs> and inhumane to his, himself. But you, you're an outside girl. Mm. You're, you're an activities girly. What yeah. do you like most? Being outside. Mm. I love scaring myself. Mm. Wow. I love scaring myself. Um, being on mountains and not knowing if mother nature will mother nature. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I really, during that period where I was going through a lot of scrutiny, I'd say, mm. um, I didn't really know myself. And so I think right now I'm putting myself in any position I, I want to be in mm -hmm. and just explore myself without anyone's view. Yeah. Like it's just me and the world and mm -hmm. I, I like that. 
I don't know if like you are that work friend you are doing that skill about. It's, it's it is you. Yeah, it it's was definitely you. I had some conspiracy theories, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a time you yeah. received a lot of backlash. Mm. I think you even took a hiatus from uh, social media. Yeah. This was a time after you said, what was a copy content? Yeah. Did you get access to that copy? God bless me. Have you seen that video of Dude Rekhan and Sawini? Shots fired. Shots fired. And even it, it was really crazy. And they also mm. Uh, Kita Chris responded, mm -hmm. but um, uh, the the other one, mm -hmm. how could respond? Mm -hmm. But what would you say about that? You took a hiatus, a hiatus uh, from social media because of this, mm -hmm. and what did you learn from all this process? I think uh, I had bottled up uh, at the time. Yeah. People would say things to me and like um, do things to me, and I'll just be silent. I was mm -hmm. always silent, always silent. People would like you know cyber bully me, and I'd be silent. Yeah. And I think. Um, I wasn't in a good place, mm -hmm. and so I finally felt like everyone needs to know how I'm feeling, yeah. bro. I was so long, really? for so long, <laughs> I've held this in. Like, come, come on, who needs it? Who wants the fire? And do you think so, like your content goes hand in hand with El Jimbo's as well? As you saying that? 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's Ika, baby. <laughs> I guess nasty. <laughs> okay, get it, I get it, but uh, yeah. But no, no, I so don't the lesson. So. Just uh, tell us the lesson learned from there. <laughs> the lesson learned, shut your lips. Shut your ah, lips. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> huh? Personally, ah. I love everything you put out. Whether it's you telling us to, you know, come into ourselves. I don't know what it is you, you always talk about. It's just yeah. on, on something. <laughs> you know, telling us to manifest something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I find it, everything constantly funny what's is that a joke that you put out into like in retrospect maybe Le flow. it wasn't that funny ah, oh <laughs> yeah a couple <laughs> a lot actually i think i only fixate on the ones that i said i ate i ate yeah. Yeah. That, that one little thing that one little thing yeah. but i uh, most of them actually i don't think they'll i sad okay not sadly but mm -hmm. Fortunately or unfortunately, I find most of them just mid. And then when I do one that's just, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Mm. That's what gets me going. So I find most of them mid, actually, just because of the consistency. Mm -hmm. But then I have the few of them. And I'm like, I even go back. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> you laugh at yeah. your jokes, in short. Yeah. Hey, Who seven plus one. But then you and Laura mm. are same WhatsApp group. Uh, no, I'm not you know, I don't get jokes. Why so? I have joke, but I find it funny. So you just rather don't tell me it's a joke. I can't even go for, for a stand-up comedy mm -hmm. show. I what don't makes get you it. laugh? What makes you laugh? I don't know. Something silly that is not a joke. Someone falling? <laughs> okay, no. Me, okay. the funniest really thing would always be babies falling. Yeah. <laughs> for real? Premium content. I hate kids. If but I put your baby taking Laura. a fall, I will laugh in their face. You <laughs> make me laugh. She makes well me know. laugh. Laura makes you laugh. Very. That is that is amazing. Thank you, man. I'm Imagine. here to bring joy. But that was the same with Kona jokes. Yeah, and I used to, our mm. producer. Mm. Same with Sabu. Very Kona jokes. But, <laughs> but I, love her. I love her babies. I love her. My niece all the time. She's always pissed. But who cares? Yeah. Babies. Yeah. Right. But, Lobinenda. If you spot a baby, baby tip it over. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank you later. <laughs> Wait till you get yours. We'll see, we'll see if you love Daily. <laughs> tip it over. I'll do the job. Today, by the way, I'm going rogue on you. And... Okay. Uh, the first time, okay, actually one of the first times that you started trending were not for the so good reasons. What do you mean? Eh, because of, you were talking about Abu Baba and uh, you were talking about stories of how it felt dating Abu Baba. Mm. Let me ask, what would you tell uh, someone out there? Do Look you know at me. Funny? It is addressed at me. Do you know Someone out there. Mm. Do you know, I make these stories up, guys. <laughs> look, look at I make uh -huh. these things up. Uh -huh. I, at least eighty percent of my videos are not true. <laughs> <laughs> and I sit at home and laugh. Up when up there's a <laughs> <when there's laughs> <outfit. laughs> I'm like, oh, you guys start having Baba. I am a Christian girl. So it's, it's not true. true. It's not true, man. Really? It really I've never by been what? on a date with a, actually an older guy. Uh -huh. Never in my life. So what was that inspired by? Especially, what is your content normally inspired by? If it's I not think true, other then. people's experiences, yeah. ah. for sure. Other people's and just movies I watch and oh, I mm. love to observe. Mm -hmm. I love to observe people, mm -hmm. so I just mimic them. Oh, yeah, pulled party. Here you've got yeah. clickbait. Let me click. Look at me. Look at me. Uh -huh. Do I look good? <laughs> <laughs> There's no shame in the game. No shame in the game. PG, PG rated, but it's fine. It's fine. So, um, for YouTube, YouTube has been very great. It's mm -hmm. been growing. Okay. The content there, you've been consistent. Mm -hmm. What keeps you going? 
actually the people funny yeah. enough people in my dms are like you have not posted this month uh -huh. sister and then i'm like yeah I keep your toes it reminds me of a youtube yeah. channel then i go back but uh i think i actually want to start doing a series that's coming soon with better production uh, stay tuned exclusive please yeah. just give us uh a tip here and there about it please what on can i really Ecom? say exclusive please what can i really say mm -hmm. If when you see the Daily Show, okay. ah. something similar, yeah, okay. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Production ongoing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, in the works, in the mm. works. Tukupatia, mi na pressure. Tukupatia si kungapi wiki ngapi. How many months? Good things aren't rushed. Ah, that's good what he answer. said. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah, good answer. <laughs> and are we playing the game right now, no, Laura? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to to turn your life around, to decide to live a healthier lifestyle, it takes a stronger mentality than it takes to just walk out and start going to the gym. Mm. What's the one thing that keeps you grounded in your routine and keeps you a regu you know regularly you know trying to no I won't say upgrade your lifestyle but to improve your well-being mental and physical. I think I've shared I just recently dropped a series of recovery from addiction because I kind of is that too deep? Did oh, I go too No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Uh, so what makes me actually like very motivated is the fact that I didn't have mental control because of my addiction and I I think right now yeah. the feeling I get from just being healthy and being consistent is something unmatched. I'm so confident within myself. I'm, um, what can I say? My self-worth yes. is, is really coming together. Uh, just how I feel after. I think even when I'm doing it, I hate when I'm doing it. I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. lie. But when I'm hiking, to, oh my but god. After. But after, it's the mm. after, and what it does for me, just visibly and just mentally, it's amazing. How I long have you been sober? You. Um, um, okay, girl, you you really brought that one up, okay? Yeah. But uh, a month. But I'd for say, you. yeah, it's been a minute since I've had a like a. A, a spiral yeah say, yeah S small All steps best. Small yeah. Steps, yeah. baby steps yeah. I'm, I, i'd like to keep it on that note positivity i hope you guys are receiving the good energy yeah i may come na bad vibes but other the rest of us are okay <laughs> yes. uh rono you know where to follow her you go mm. you go by rono her yes. on tiktok yes yeah. yes yeah. By your other social media handles, it's the same? Yeah, Rono, at Rono, everything. At Rono. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have ECAV games, but you only get to watch it if you tune into the exclusive on YouTube. <laughs> That's where all the fun stuff <laughs> happens. <laughs> but we're signing out. Make sure to tune in next week, same time, same place. You can also check out this episode on YouTube, so make sure you do that. But right now, we're getting into ECAV games for the exclusive Zaytun. Ali and Esco Zaytun on Instagram, Zaytun Ali on Facebook. Yes. Bye! <laughs>then you've unlocked the secret box welcome to ecom exclusive where we play all the fantastic games and just catch up with mm. our celebrities of the night and today tonight we have a very nice game it's game called night. who's Who? your baby daddy mm. <laughs> you already know mine will always and forever <laughs> be Terry lane <laughs> <laughs> it's still a woman beater but we will not dive into that chris brown but uh, same was up all right, we let's start off with Rodo. Today we're playing Who's Your Baby Daddy? So here we have a list of names that neither none of us have seen. Mm -hmm. Not Z2, not Rono, not I. And we get to pick out one of them. And you get to describe this guy and yeah. we have to guess who your baby daddy is. Are you ready? Very ready. This is Ecom Games. <laughs> All right, let's get into it, Rono. <sighs> pick okay. your cast. Let me pick okay. my burden. Immediately, yeah? Yes. Don't show me. We are in the gutter. We are in the gutter. He's our one, you know, let me. He's our who? I already okay. know. Ah, what do you mean? Let me tell you, no. Describe. Okay, okay. 
Mm -hmm. But I already know. Mm -hmm. I've been a hard working guy. Rigiji. <laughs> no, but you're Ruto. close. There we go. No. Yeah. There we go. I mean, I'm okay with that. You can yes. slide my DM any day. Yeah. President. Our, Our own president. president. Shout out to you, President. I'm looking for a job. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Very soon. I don't know. That's oh, fine. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sweetie. Sorry. Ah, okay. It's no. okay. No, let's just, shuffle. Get, just pass that. I okay. trust. Yeah. Hey, I'm Meona. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mapenzi tu. Mboso. Ni mpaga watu, eh, na ingine ni nini? Platinum. Ah, uh, itabidi ni wambie, eh, uh, <coughs> uku 001, wajua. <coughs> Jamal Gaddafi. Eh. <coughs> uh, Mario. Eh, apana, apana. Joho. Eh, Joho! Wow! Why would that be the first description? Because we know, we know. <laughs> Why is it like it? He does TikTok. Very. Akotun kunti fanya superstar. Anafanya TikTok zote za ki TZ. Nimesa wili gida alifanya ya kwanza doni katumia. Ewe na una mcho, una msorora. Isi ni nini? Nafanya ti hapa sasa. Nafanya ti hapa. Aya, it's my turn. Nikuwa nisha gantua ambia ti. It's my turn. Nikuwa nisha gantua ambia? Ule de mwenye liyacha bagi yake kwa aeroplane. Nikuwa natafuta vinyo nita itema. It's the slander for me. Wallahi that's basically a sauti yake, but let me imitate his wife. Oh God. Vena sidika meshe tu alikufa na ata kumpatia pesa. Alikuwa na msaidi ya kulipa rent. And when she died, she was nowhere to be seen. Ambare. Yeah. Oh, we're talking about the husband, right? Who is? Oh, Rapudo. Yes. Ah! Because I don't, I've never heard that man's voice. Told you. I don't hear him, Jaka. <laughs> are we, yes, you know yes. we have money, you know, we are Arsenal fans, you know. Ule nile sikuwa lipea na 80k. Kwa, ah, ah, yendo walipoa 80k. Ju walikuwa mebet na ambare, nani ya na shi. Kati asenali na Man City. Imagine wanapea na 280,000, tu hivi ni kani, tu bobo. I mean, I'm betting for free and... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And ambare sent. Na yeah, later on, akapatia, anito nga nani uyu, alimpatia 20k, because alimambia move from Manu to... Asenali. Nice. Mr. Hao, the Obina. Oh, nice. Yes, oh, the right. Obina. Imagine. 20K. Said. Very fast. Pesa ni, fast. Ni, ni, ni liquid. Yeah. Small, small. Uh huh. Okay, I don't know this person, guys, so I'm just gonna. Uh, just I, I, I swear, back. Okay. Can yeah. we. Bijungu? Wow, you <laughs> just said the answer, but because yeah. Oh, he's, okay. he's, he's a presenter is, here. He's our presenter here at KTN, KTN News. News. Yeah. Can we jungle? You would have told me it's can we jungle. I know oh, you. Know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> it's the slander. <laughs> but I, slander. Pick another one, Rona. You're not getting away from this. Oh, my Forgive God. me. I think I know the face, but not that. Um, okay. Ooh, our favorite. Okay, this is. Uh -huh. <laughs> our favorite. Mine and yours, Amma? You everyone's. Oh, everyone's. Okay. Uh -huh. Everyone's. Ah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Sakaja. I'm just putting it out there. No. I can't. I can't wait. Still not simple. You're close. You're close. Simple boy. I can't wait. Leonard Omusula. Oh, I can't wait. Yes, Dinda Celeste. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Good. A great one. All right. No, no, no. Here you go. You have one more. Oh, this one. Okay. Ah, ini jugush bado. Oh. Enu mgoja ni fungu. I was like, let me wait. <laughs> ah. Where? Who is your baby daddy? <laughs> My baby daddy is huge. My baby daddy amejenga mansion too juicy ame malika. Calligraph Jones. Woo! I'm just putting it out there also. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Laura, um, she just said mansion. She knew yeah. immediately. Immediately. So because, because we have one dream, but I'll do one for you. Okay. Right. I'm sure you guys know this. Uh -huh. Who is your baby daddy? I have a 100 box. <laughs> okay. Depending hint. I want to drink 40 bucks uh -huh. and 60 shillings is for fair. Hey, you have found me sleeping here. No, let me kiss you. You know, no, let me kiss you. Imagine some juice. You have found me just sleeping here. Uh huh. 
I have not eaten. <laughs> Seriously, I'm a dream. I can I'm talking, I'm talking to you now. <laughs> Outside. I love you. You've oh, done great. I love you. It's it's that I don't know him. Listen. Him. Oh, okay. Like I I do <laughs> <to check you. laughs> but guys, that was e -Cup games with Chebet Roro. Yes. Any parting shot you'd want to give guys at home? Mm -hmm. Any words of wisdom, especially for the younger guys coming up? Because I get a lot of people from high school who are tuned in and they find the show aspirational and very inspiring. And you are definitely aspirational and inspirational. Parting shots. Do what you want to do. Go after what you want to go after. Um, and be yourself. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Authenticity yeah. counts. Very and you much, can always yeah. come back from mistakes. Oh, I like that. I like that. You can, you can change your mind as much as you can. You can change who you are as much as you can. And you can come back as better. You can come back better from any mistake. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so. If you're at home, this is e exclusive. We'll be playing all the fantastic games we used to do on the show, but on this segment. Make sure you send in your tips for games. If you also want to participate, yeah. tell us how we can involve you as the audience. We are here for you guys. Most of the time. I'm here just to throw shots at Sakaja and Kanza. Uh, just put it in out there. Yeah, but they too. How can they find me. us on our socials and how can they send us their oh, feedback? KTN Home underscore. That is on Instagram on KTN Home. That on, that's on Facebook. 0759434389 is our WhatsApp number. And the SMS line is 2251. Yes, 22515. Okay, I'll confirm that. Yes, but uh, yeah. To pata kwenye WhatsApp, social media, Laura Mbatha, Ali Zaitun, this is ECAV. And Chabet, Rono? Oh, beautiful. Stay blessed, guys. That's all. Thank you.